So um, first line antiretrovirals in the US as are recommended by the DHHS guidelines and the D IAS USA guidelines are generally in the range of $35,000 to $44,000 per patient per year. Um, and those drug prices have gone up somewhere in the range of 10 to 20 percent in the last two years. So I would argue that we are on a skyrocketing course of um, antiretroviral drug costs and that something needs to be done about it. Um, what we looked at this morning is the issue of generic antiretrovirals. Um, one of the challenges associated with generic antiretrovirals and generic drugs in general is that by the time they come off patent, um, drug manufacturing and drug development has happened so quickly that they there's always something new or better that has come along that has replaced what is potentially coming off patent with a new or better drug. And so the hope of having a generic has actually never really um, been realized. Um, so the, the, some of the drugs that have been proposed for generics um, or that are coming off patent are efavirenz, um, FTC, and tr um, tenofovir, TDF, uh, tenofovir disaproxyl fumarate. Um, and so the, some of the things that I talked about in those three examples and how they may impact um, drug pricing in the U.S. So it's a complex web of how we finance antiretroviral therapy in the United States. For the most part, most people get treatment, whether it is through drug discounts, through co-payments, through um, accessibility with manufacturers, through 340B programs um, or AIDS drug assistance programs provided by Ryan White. Um, there is a safety net. Um, however, somebody is paying these prices and um, how they get reimbursed and sort of the perverse nature of how some of these things happen and the ability of these drug prices to go up um, is you know, a real challenge in the United States. You know, I think that when antiretrovirals were FDA approved in the United States, um, they were around $15,000 per year. And I think there has been so much research and development associated with them that the drug companies have continued to increase the prices. They are always getting better. They are always have improved toxicity profiles. They have improved um, pill burdens. And um, so I think that they feel like they're merited to increase in price. The other thing that's interesting about it is that um, through the President's Emergency Plan for AIDS Relief, we are uh, able to supply anti antiretroviral therapy to in resource limited settings. And by doing that, um, the, the drug companies have lost their patents, at least for use in resource limited settings, and they're now co-formulated with generics there. And in their ability to be able to do that for resource limited settings, they need to make money on in resource rich settings. And I think that that's part of the issue.